Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the Eureka app settings for the Eureka. This is the J15 Pro Ultra. The J15 Pro Ultra is linked in the video description, so be sure to check it out there. Here's a look at our J15 Pro Ultra set up within the Eureka app. On the main screen here for our device, we can quickly enter in. Down below, we have multiple settings, so we can quickly do a full clean, an after dinner clean, a sweeping before, you can create additional shortcut commands. You can set that up right there. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna select the enter button to be taken into our main overview and settings. Let's just start on the top right hand side. In that corner, you'll see three dots. This is gonna be all of our device settings. First up, we have schedule cleaning. So we can create a schedule if we want it. Choose the start time, the end time, what mode you want, four options there. And then we can do full or room. You get the idea. But again, which hour, minute, days of the week, all of that can be customized right there for the scheduling option. Next, we have work log where we can see a breakdown of our cleaning history as well as a patrol log too. So if you'd like to use the patrol setting with the live video monitoring, you have that option there. Map management, so we can save multiple maps here and manage our maps accordingly. Then we have our cleaning settings. You'll wanna spend a minute here and configure this exactly as you want it. We have enhanced suction for carpet cleaning. We can enable or disable that. We can choose how it responds to carpets, ignore, avoid, cross, or again, adapt. And that's where it lifts the mop. Enhanced edge and corner cleaning, flexible edge cleaning, hair cutting settings, super strong cutting, you get the idea, but there's a lot here. Threshold pressurization, that's cool. So if you cross thresholds, it can increase the suction level to help with any debris. Then we have our vo uh, voice settings. So we can adjust the volume and change the robot voice and language. So there are multiple options there. You can see if your language is there. Station settings, you'll wanna spend a minute here. We can adjust the mop wash frequency self-empty frequency, mop washing mode, water temperature, warm or hot, auto drying, duration, self-cleaning frequency, you get the idea. A lot of customization there. Accessory lifetime, this is basically a breakdown of the consumable parts and components that you'll want to replace every once in a while. They give you a breakdown in hours with the progress bar when it's time to replace. Next, we have our general settings, things like child lock, do not disturb. If you wanna turn on or off the fill light, you can adjust just some additional settings for the vacuum. Imperial or metric, factory reset, restart, all that can be found in the general section. AI cleaning butler is next. You can toggle these on or off if you wanna take advantage of some additional features. AI obstacle recognition and avoidance. Pick and choose how you want to configure that. I like the live action photos. It's cool to see the obstacle in real time on the map. Here's the obstacle avoidance settings off, exhaustive or intelligent. Then we have our AI video patrol coded. You can change the password right there. Manual control if you want to drive it around. You can use your phone for that. Find my robot, device info, firmware updates, instruction manual, everything else is just gonna be your typical tutorial and setup options. Let's go back to the main screen. Below those three dots on the right-hand side, we have our map tools. This is where we can adjust our map, backup, restore, rename, delete. So we have different Barriers we can set up, virtual walls, no-go zones, no mop zones, or we can add thresholds. Everything is drag and drop and highly customizable. And you can learn more about that right there up at the top if you hit that question mark. You can learn about each setting. Then we have our room management. So if we select that, we're taken in where we can merge or divide rooms, rename them, and we can choose a cleaning order for the rooms. Next is floor material. So we can adjust the floor material and edit carpets. So toggle between those tabs and customize as needed. And then furniture editing, this is just for you. If you like to build out your map with furniture, you can do that right here. I personally don't, but if you'd like to or want to, you can add all the furniture on your map and build it out really detailed. 
Below the map tools icon is our live video monitoring. It's their video patrol where you can enter in and drive the vacuum around your house, have it patrol around your house automatically, capture photos and videos, all of that can be achieved right there. And at the bottom, we have three different cleaning tabs, room clean, full clean, or zone clean. So we can add multiple areas, five areas, up to three times each. And then we can adjust our cleaning settings down at the bottom. So left-hand side, currently it's set to vacuum. We can do just vacuum, just mop, vacuum, then mop, vacuum and mop, or smart. You can let Eureka handle it all, use their AI, worry-free. There's also a customize option. So right here for each room, we can customize those characteristics. So how do we want to handle, let's say the kitchen, for example, we can edit those right there. You can do all of that customization within the map. Are you happy with how it picked it out? Great. If not, you can edit that too. And we can customize our clean, whether it's that custom clean room by room or just for a room or zone clean or cleaning everywhere. We can adjust the suction level. We have multiple choices. We have mopping preferences for basically water levels from low to standard to high. Path preferences, do you want a really fine clean? Do you want a daily clean or do you want a quick cleaning option? And you can toggle on or off tic-tac-toe mode. Basically, if cleaning twice, the robot will perform a crisscross sweeping and mopping pattern to the clean. So a lot of preferences there down at the bottom. And on the other side, in the other corner, the right-hand corner, base station controls, we can conduct a self-empty, mop washing, mop air drying, self-cleaning of the base station, multiple options there. And we have our more settings in the top right hand corner of that graphic that takes us to the settings that we looked at already in the main settings with those three dots up in the corner so that's a look at the eureka app settings for your j15 pro ultra